beautiful South Florida. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And no run back on this. about 15 or so miles northwest to world famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Today it's the opener of a new NFL season between the Tennessee Titans and the Miami Dolphins. The ball on the tee, we're set for football and we are underway from Miami. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Hey, 
They'll look to throw. Throwing the out route, and he's got Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. Well, partner, that's the start that you are right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Looking to throw. Going up top for Miller. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. Tackle made there by Chidabe Awuzie. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From the 45 on second down, Hurts. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. He's going to have the first down and in so. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered. He just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Second and five. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Well, to me, there is no question about the intent there, and I think he was a little fortunate that the penalty flag didn't come out for grounding. But he'll get away with it and get another shot on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And a good burst there gets him seven up to midfield. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Miller in motion right. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 31-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. 
That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Brought down by Ed Oliver. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Here's second and eight. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quay Walker. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Throwing his hurts. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They think they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. He'll fire this one deep for Eckler. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Austin Eckler, 34 yards. And the Titans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. A short kick taken at the 18. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, and still in the first half here, a long way to go. Taking a shot for Samuel, and that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play action. Here's Hurts. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams tie the game up, it's a little bit of a, how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they had been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement-long touchdown.
The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here try to tie this football game. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They'll set up to throw. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Trying to lay one up deep. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. Now a give to Mostert running right. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop it behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Hurts to throw. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Now the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so try to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Got a man complete to Miller. 
And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Back to throw again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Dolphins will take over possession here up at the 44. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Danico Autry is in on the stop. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They find some up. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. A big play there. 43 yards. And the Dolphins are looking good here. The season openers are able to extend their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. It looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to... And now here's another interception. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They'll try and run here with Mostert. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And his kick is right there. It's good. 
So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they forced him to take the three. Well, you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Curl. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting, you and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going, trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, partner, they've certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, partner, given where that drive started, that's an excellent job defensively to force them into fourth down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll look to throw again. He'll drop this one off to Ackler. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That's complete to Mooney. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is caught. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. Henry. Will take this into the end zone for a Titans touchdown. Now this opening game has certainly not gone their way to this point, but yeah, you know, that touchdown may be a, a glimmer of hope for the long season ahead. And no one in this league likes to talk about moral victories. No one likes to really just say, okay, well, maybe something went right. But you're exactly right about that. A little glimmer there. Maybe they can carry it over moving forward. 
And he'll find his way in for two. And we're back to a two-score game. The lead's cut to 16. Well, it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throughout a ball game. There's a great example right there. From just inside, now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. The tackle made by Levi Wallace. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 67 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The defender certainly didn't forget about him leaking out of the backfield. There was a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage, and that throw had no shot. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Hurt sets up to throw it. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. They go play action with Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Hurts. And that will be incomplete. Brian, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game, and the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Miller in motion right. Here's a second and seven. This is swung out to Eckler. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together and we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk.
talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 49-yard line. the shotgun he'll look to throw and the Dolphins rush gets home down he goes Montez Sweat in there to get him once again that's two sacks for him now here on opening day and that's his second sack in this one and you just can't ask the defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now and Martin it's still just the third quarter I'm thinking he's not done yet even if he's not getting a sack he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Looking to throw. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 36. That one goes for 24 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. throw again nothing open downfield he keeps it himself for 11 and a first down it hasn't been the cleanest game for him but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks and even more importantly he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger they'll look to throw here on first down and incomplete on the deep ball. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Slot man moves right. Back to throw now on second and ten. To the right side, complete to Miller. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just scared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And it's caught, and it's a Titans touchdown. Jarnell Mooney, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Titans get a bit closer. So a big two-point conversion attempt forthcoming for the Titans. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two. It's caught. So they get the conversion. And now we're back to a one-score game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From the six. And he returns this to the 22. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. 
Right. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. From the 31, Hurts. The improvisation gets him only a couple, but that's all they needed. First down. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This time it's third and three. Throwing his hurts. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Out of the gun now on third down. Eluding the pressure right. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And his kick is indeed good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising trail of the Dolphins, but the end result only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And a costly turnover there as the ball will be spotted first and goal at the five-yard line. Come on, come on. The defense gets in the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. Here's Mostert. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. This started with first and goal. So they were in four down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great... And it's intercepted in the end zone. Well, how about that? You use a high draft pick on this guy back in April, hoping he'll grow into a role as the season progresses. And now look at this, a pick six in his very first NFL game. Sometimes the evaluation doesn't match what the kid brings to the table. He progressed quickly. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to 18 there. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for the Dolphins, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they'll hit the road.